In the news industry, having a good story is everything. But a good pitch is what will get that story told. When you're pitching a story on a freelance basis, you have to realize that an editor's inbox is always flooded. Sometimes you don't actually even read half the emails you're sent. You can tell from the subject line. Make it personal. Make it that I know that you are sending this directly to the courier because sometimes people will do a story pitch and it will seem like they're doing it to every newspaper. Sometimes it's just the little things that will make or break your pitch. If they get my name right, I'm really pretty happy about that. The, the amount of people that pitch me that call me a different name or spell my name wrong or call the newspaper a different newspaper's name, kind of that gets things off to a bad start right away. Spelling mistakes, definitely. If they if they if they have problems stringing a sentence together uh, in a pitch, that would make me worry about their, their writing abilities uh, on a story. If you don't hear back from the editor, don't forget to check in later. You, what you do is you make one pitch, you wait, you hope you get a response. Um, and it's also, I think, something that we always forget is follow up with a phone call. But most importantly, don't let rejection get to you. When you're just starting out and you're hustling, that's when you'll you'll get more more rejections. And I, you know, freelancing is tough, so it's not to be discouraging, but it is reality. You're gonna you'll be pitching and pitching and pitching, uh, and spending more time trying to get the right assignment than you often do actually spend on the writing assignment. For the Langara Journalism Review, I'm Shoji Whittier.